I'm back with another video. Today we got Sneeko joins call just to get grilled by Destiny featuring XQC and Cuff him. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. <clears throat> like, am I delusional here or like? No, what are you talking about? So is it intention of the word? Because Who the clearly, he's joined, Cuff. Clearly, Cuff him does yeah. not hate gay people. So is exactly. it the word or the intention? Why do we say clearly? There's nothing clear about that. How do we know that? He just, oh. not, he, he just said he doesn't hate gay people. That's what I'm saying. I have Wait, if somebody brother. says they don't gay people, that means they don't hate gay people? Since when has that ever been the standard by which we determine somebody's, like, feelings? This is uh, the, 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 the fin grand finale 2024 cuck off. Marshall, okay, so you can change being a f Like, you can stop doing that. Right, you can't, when you call cuff him a thug, he can't change his skin color. He's always going to be black. Wait, okay, hold on, wait, just, nothing oh, about no. thug. Hold on, hold on. Cuff him. I did see something on Twitter, a little clip. So you had XQC, you had Ada in there, and they was talking about what they pretty much was getting. Somebody, XQ, XQC, saying Cuff him is a thug. I don't know if he said he's black, but he associate that with a. We need to start from this moment forward. You can't let a classless group of people classify you as black which is void of color if i turn the tv off what you see if you close your eyes and cut the lights out in your room what you see nothing void of color and then you go in the black's law dictionary or whatever what that's like lifeless and some motion and that ties into like the judicial system when you in there and you don't know what to say so they get to play with you and do whatever they want with you because you're a property because you don't understand therefore you stand under it so yeah we got to stop that and when you're talking about Asiatic people, you're not calling them yellow like the Simpsons. And you automatically calling them white. This ring light I'm using, white. From the seven colors in the spectrum, your chakras up and Christ conscious is white. The good guy, Superman, and you sub you subconsciously, you're, you're calling them that. And then you're calling you the opposite of evolution. We got to stop there right now. You cannot let a group of people classify you as as anything if anything you use imagine me saying you see my headphones these is black i'm closer to gold or copper so i'm i'm the golden race that's that's what we call i'm indigenous and aboriginal i'm not native i am not african-american that's a misnomer that's two fucking continents bitch if you call me that IRL, I'm beating the shit out of you. Someone's going to have to come around and swoop up your reboot card. And I'm going to make sure they don't revitalize you because I'm sending them back to the lobby with no materials as well. Y'all got me fucked up with this shit, bro. I'm sick of a group of people perceptionalizing us in a light that isn't in favor of us. Advertise us away. Therefore, people that see it, perception is reality. They pick up on it. And they perceive it the way they perceive it to be the way you intended them to see it. And that can be dangerous. That's how a Trayvon like Mar Trayvon Martin like incident happened. Dude just go where he seen black people to be. Oh, uh, he dangerous and such and such. If it was a lily white boy or something, he probably would be more easier. So all that shit is important. Shit, the Yakuza thought so, right? Didn't they eliminate them Americans that came and tried to depict their people in a light that wasn't in favor of them with a film? And they made an example out of them. Like, don't play with our people like that. Because they understand perception is reality. Take it a step further. That's a double entendre. Perception is reality. If you get in a science of thing like your lens and how the light reflect and your retina and how that work. We can grow up in the same hood where I grew up at. But yet you can still perceive things totally different. Like my brothers and them, they got a totally different perception on things than... Perception is reality in two ways. I probably can find a third way and make it a triple entendre. But that's first things first. Stop letting a classless group of people classify you as something that you truly ain't. Okay, if you Michael Black's in your ass, at that point, you, you, you're that color. But me saying that, how dare you? You say that, someone will be... You will have no V-Bucks up there. I'm sick of... Bro, next... I'm turning into the Undertaker at that point. Don't call me that shit. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful to me, my ancestors, my lineage, my, my whole thing. Don't call me black. Don't call me colored. Don't call me Negro. Don't call me African-American, which is two continents, bitch. 
And how they say, go back to your, they can't deport you because you're not from there. We got pyramids here in the Grand Canyon. Obelisks, monuments, hieroglyphs, vermanas, all kind of shit. That's our stuff. Let alone the shit that ceased in the Vatican. I apologize I had to go on a tangent here, but I hate hearing that shit. And I don't even supposed to be using words like that. Hate. My bad. But I can't stand hearing shit like that. Don't. If anything, you say what you is. Or let your people say what you is. That isn't ignorant, of course. Don't let these other motherfuckers classify you as such. They shitting on you. Even if they don't even know it. Even if you ain't even picking up on, you, on it. Like. Black. Alright, let's continue. Puff him a thug. He can't change his skin color. He's always gonna be black. Wait, okay, hold on. Wait, just... nothing about thug. Um, Incorrect. Wait, so okay, two many things. Wait, wait, wait. Two things. Two, a couple things. Couple things. Wait. So this? it's not. It's not. So we. And you see that, bro? They call you this black thing, and then subconsciously, as well as consciously, against the consensus, the populace, the world. When they think of that, if it ain't the po if it ain't the positive things, it still ain't of the highs of highs. It ain't like no scientists and no doctor and none of that but it's some positives who are, some people tend to think oh you a rapper you a basketball player or whatever that can still be but it's not i wouldn't say it's necessarily negative but they got they but on the other side if you ain't that robber thief bad guy can't be trusted thug these people people that share your genetic makeup where's the biggest thugs in history and not his story that's told by the victors you pillaged and raped the. You killed the ocean. You did everything, and then you put law enforcement in place to protect everything you stole and genocide it. And then we just supposed to let shit ride. And they say it ain't relevant. You don't know slaves or a slave owner. Bitch, it is relevant. Have you ever heard of epigenetic tr trauma, epigenetic memory? It's the reason why you got gifts, sorrows, fetishes, talents, traits, or what have you. It's from your previous ancestors, and it rose. It correlates, everything correlate, but I'm pretty sure it's probably in that Quran, but it's in them holy books. The sentiment is you will suffer of your father's doings. That's one of them. Your bloodline and you spawn here and you got this baggage or something in you and you don't know why I send you, but you got to deal with it. You got to correct it. Yes, you can rewrite your DNA with affirmations and all that, and you can undergo neuroplasticity and change the way your neuro, how you think. But this system puts so much stress on you, you ain't got the time to undergo that. And I don't know about changing that 98.7 naturally violent chimpanzee and all these other different gen species that consist of your... Nah. Remember what I said earlier. You call me black, I'm sending you back to the lobby. We're using protected class and everything, but usually it's a proxy for like, these things probably shouldn't be bad things. So... One more. I'm tired of keep pausing. I'm just as much as you, but reverting back to what I was saying much more. Oh, how you, how you don't know a slave master. You don't know everybody was such and such. And it's still relevant because you, everybody on the planet know. It's pictures of us and stuff on hieroglyphs in China and all kind of everywhere. We're native to the land, period. Even your scientists that share your biology across the world agree that you haven't been on the planet no longer than six or 7,000 years. So how all of a sudden you own most of everything? That alone, you get the enjoy and indulge in the convenience of a group of people's ignorance yet you psychologically evaluating them and you ain't never been psychologically right yourself in your history which is still prelevant they descendants from the people that did all the shit to the victims it's still in your blood or what in the victim as the victims just like it's still in the victim's blood to still feel however the fuck they feel all the shit is still relevant bro how the Bible is a, is a book on biology and all that for real, and parables and metaphors, you will suffer of your father's doings. And that's not just a man, that's your mother as well, and all the family trees combined with, combined with makeup of you today currently. It's in you. It's relevant. On top of, again, they perceptionalize us in a way. I don't even think that's a word, but everything is built off small, small building blocks into making bigger words. So you get what I'm getting at. I know you know what I mean. And it will be a word one day. Trust me. It can be like a Mr. Beast. You can have somebody just as talented and so-called black. He'll never equate to that because people already got their perception of what is normal and they're going to click and try this out instead because this is deemed the norm. And a lot of people just ain't going to try that out just because. So due to how we... Everybody already got their installation of what they think reality of what to be. It's going to take for... A, I don't even know if I want to go there. <laughs> I can't. 
But let's continue, man. If you make fun of somebody for being broke, right? Usually it's because being broke is a bad thing. Nobody wants to be broke. Broke people don't want to be broke. If you make fun of somebody for being fat, well, nobody wants to be fat. Like, even fat people don't want to be fat. If yeah, you make somebody be for being gay, well, the implication is that, like, being must be bad, the same way that being fat or being offended. broke is. The, the, the reason that uh, get offended when you say that word is because they don't actually want to be no, That's the reason they get offended is word. because they think that other people are loading that word in a really negative way, and they're being hateful with it. No, it comes from a deep-rooted shame that they're never going to be accepted for who they are. It, it, really? That's, that's not is the that, So, yet. wait, is that why Muslims being, are the most... Wait, wait, is that why Muslims are the most fragile people on the internet, then? It's because when you make fun of their religion, they get so ass mad about it that they come out and they attack literally every fucking person they see? Even if it means beheading people in a comic book shop? Like, But guys in the comment section that view this video and listen to it, be honest with yourself for once. Like, how isn't it relevant? It is relevant. People that's indigenous and aboriginal can't even go to the Grand Canyon. It's pyramid. It's everywhere here in America. And it stays shit, bro. And they can't go there. And you own this land. And NASA own a part portion of this land. And we already know the people in them uniforms, what their biology consists of, something more along the lines of destiny. Like, that shit ain't right, bro. It's relevant. You know how embarrassed. I don't care if it's Floyd Mayweather, it's a billionaire or whatever. Still paying rent to people that don't have a biological identification to the planet, meaning they can't tell you where they come from. And he's been here for the longest. He's paying rent to a group. But that's insane, bro. That's insane. That's insane being psychologically evaluated by people that ain't never been right. I can't fathom some of the shit they did. Judas Cradles, Brazen Bulls. I can't fathom how you can do that. Dark ages eating your own people. I can't fathom that. But that ties into once well as... Your genealogy is directly connected to your psychological state as well. Y'all looking for the aliens, bitch. I see the aliens. I see the history. I see the doings and the actions. I don't understand it. Therefore, I stand under it. I see who the aliens is. They everywhere. They're just different species of aliens, but y'all some of them. <laughs> this shit is crazy, bro. They be saying it ain't relevant. You got people homeless, bro. You got people imposing their will on people. Your sacred temple being your body. And you can't even control what you ingest, bro. GMO food, fluoridated water, land, air, and water, chemtrails in the air, metals, barium, particulates, particles. And you can't control what you breathe in, what you eat, what you drink, what you bathe in, your land, what you need a. What this? I don't, I don't even remember. Let me see. I think well, I forgot that's, what that's it's not called. That's true because you're still walking around and you've made fun of Islam. If that were that's true, that's because I a loyalty title. They don't even teach people about stuff like that. And again, they don't teach you about finances because you need for the rich to get richer. You need a group to stay poor, and they're trying to get rid of the middle class. You see, but man, this shit is this shit is very relevant. And I understand a bunch of people been through a bunch of shit. Everybody been enslaved, right? But still, like, it's different, bro. The capacity, the pain that they endure and sustain, bro. It's on a whole nother level. This shit, bro. Everybody, every race got their own language, bro. Except for so-called black people. And then you let these people still classify you as such. Like, bro, this shit got to change. If I can snap my fingers like Thanos and all my people know what I know, bitch, I promise you, you will be running. I talk to a lot of so-called white people that tell me like, yeah, I know such and such laughing at us behind our back. I know the world haters. We know what we did. We they really scared of you wanting to take revenge back. I believe in the eye for both of your eyes. If you did it on purpose, you clearly did it on purpose as well. Now, I understand a lot of people been through all kind of shit and they lied to us all, but still, nonetheless, how the system set up being in his suit, being his body, he's born with the sentence to, to win, to have a better chance, to have higher numbers, to have a higher paycheck. I dare somebody dispute that. I will quick scope your ass up close. You would think I'm doxing for sure. Let's be honest with ourselves here. It's the truth. Let's continue, man. I want to finish this video out. Live in the United Live States of America, thank God. But no, so I'm asking you, so then would you say every time a Muslim lashes out at somebody because you make fun of their religion, is that because they have a deep-seated shame about it? No, I'm saying that the reason that XQC draws the line there, it's not because of this morality thing. Because nobody wants to be fat. Nobody wants to be broke. Nobody, nobody wants, wants to be a Muslim? Why do they get so offended when you make fun of them for it? That's, that's not... I'm, that's has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Like, that's exactly. You offended. said that people get offended for being gay because they're ashamed to be gay. So that's I'm asking you, then, okay, do people you get offended by being called okay, Muslim because they're Muslim? Are they ashamed of being Muslims? 
Though the way he debates Kufum is he's gonna equate yeah. being Muslim to being gay. Nobody gets offended if if a blue hair destiny calls me a Muslim. Nobody's offended, right? If I say <laughs> if I call destiny. somebody gay and you're not gay, they'll <laughs> get offended because nobody wants to be gay. They're not they're not offended. They don't want to be around right. people that are hateful. They're upset because you're being hateful towards them. The same way that Muslims okay. get offended when you talk about their religion in a negative uh, way. Also, I think I think that that, that they they have kind of the right to be upset, right? To be kind of. Uh, that they, they, they can't change, right? No, 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 it doesn't have to, no, no, it doesn't have to do, no, it doesn't have to do with can't change or can change. Like, there are I, I, for I, instance, I, you can change your nationality. It doesn't necessarily mean you should attack somebody over their nationality. You can change, like, I, the country you're living in or whatever. It's a... Well, that, that's, that's gonna, it's gonna, how, that's gonna, like, like, my view on it. It's like, I, I, I don't think it's, it's a good thing that you go around just being who you are and getting clapped on all the fucking time for it. I think it's just, I think it's- a, I think sure, It can it's, feel bad, but I mean like insults are supposed to feel bad. But the question yeah, yeah, is, yeah, the course. question is like, what do you want to make somebody feel bad for, right? If it's a bad characteristic, so if you think somebody's generally bad because they're like a C or a tanky or a brokey or they're fat or whatever, those are all like bad characteristics. Then you say like, oh, well, yeah, you can make fun of people for these things. If you're making fun of somebody for being gay, the implication is you think that being gay is like a negative, bad characteristic, and that's why you're being bad for it. That's why the person uh, that came here's, in here. Here's the next issue: is that if they, thinking that being gay is bad doesn't mean you hate gays, right? If I being fat is bad, I don't hate fat people. It's just it's yeah. gross. Like that thinking is. something is gross, thinking broke, being yeah. broke is gross or bad. There's not, I don't hate broke people. There's no rich, rich people don't hate broke people. Just like straight people don't hate gays. It's just weird and disgusting. You're allowed to be disgusted by something and not hate it. <laughs> That's fine, but the it's, it's literally in the language you're using. If you're expressing publicly that you think something is gross and disgusting, the idea is you're being hateful towards it. You can, you can play word games like, well, it doesn't mean you hate it. But I mean, like it's essentially what's being expressed. I mean, I, I, I like to use extremes uh, to, 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 to really draw to draw the picture, right? Cool. Really think about it. What if you say, oh, I'm disgusted by a certain skin color? I mean, it's going to come off pretty hateful. Do you not agree? Yeah, of course. What? But you can't the change skin your skin color. You, you can change, like, you can just stop be, You can stop kissing boys. So now you, can't, now you can't change being black. Whoa. whoa. My bad. What in a loyalty? It's a loyal title. A loyal, yeah. Oh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sexual orientation and the manifestation of that of that sexuality are two different things entirely. Right, no, but being gay is a choice. That's a decision. Is, is that is that your worldview on it? That's just the truth. You choose to kiss. Is, is that your worldview or not? You just say how it is. He's the yeah. He doesn't thing. believe it's real because he's on some retard. It's not worth arguing over. That's this. just the objective yeah. truth. No, that, that, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, but, but you're, 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 there's you're, literally there's no place in the world where it's been like discovered how to change somebody's sexuality like that. It just doesn't happen. So no, you have you, no you foundation for to, saying you, that. You want to know how to not do that? Is just don't kiss a guy as a man. <laughs> yeah, but then so what? Do you just and, not have relationships? Do you just not have relationships anymore? Or no, you could have a relationship, but with the correct sex. Yeah, but if you don't have any the sexual correct. attraction towards them, why would you do that? And. That's deeper than that as well. It's like, um, what can I start here? For some people, it is a choice that you're doing it. But I feel like the generality, basically, the, the standardized fact is that a lot of them feel this just me. And they attracted to that. They have a fetish for that. They, the, the, if they a male, a male as well. And they not attracted to a fit. So that's that's something. That's like some that it can I feel like it can vary. But clearly it's meant to. Everything is from the brain as well. As well as you know how you hear the, the history of what happened in Rome and all that. And I don't even know if I want to get into that, but like all the stuff you hear that they did and it's it's been a thing and it it, it was crazy. Everybody looked at it like it's insane, but it was a thing. You got to think them people in them old days or whatever, they had kids and descendants as well. That's still in your blood as well. Some people feel they born that way. So I don't feel like it's just as simple and concise down the middle as if they choose in a sin or be gay. I feel like some may out there be like that. Really, that's just a choice. But I feel like the generalized fact of it is is it's like a thing and they just attract it to let me know what you think but it can vary if you come from a, a long line of Jeffrey Dahmer's it's a nine times out of ten you're gonna be the next one even if it skipped you you have one 
low bearing fruit doesn't fall too far from the same tree don't forget that verse in the bible i don't know the words verbatim but the sentiment is that you will suffer of your father's doings so that can be your mother father however your whole lineage it can skip a few and then it can pop back up you know how one of you can have asthma you can have a baby with your girl or whatever and then your kid might not have it and then his kid it might it might pop up and he it works like that you will suffer of your father's doings mother as well <laughs> it's deep so it can vary though it can vary it can be that on top of they being touched as a kid on top of it can vary bro it can vary it can be a multitude of things they they even got gay bombs bro you can look this up they got gay bombs that can turn you gay it, it varies that that's the wrong feeling There's, let me know what y'all think about that when thing. you say but the saying, wrong feeling what according <clears throat> to who according to the world the same reason you tell uh that they should stop being attracted to kids it's like you should have a morality hold on that. why that's another thing y'all should go and check out my video the um when vash got exposed and he pretty much was exposing some things itself it was a number of people in his chat he was like okay let's throw out statistics here statistics here it's such and such people in his chat i will bet whatever he say he'll bet that at least such and such and such percentage of people in here is attracted to kids as well shout out the vosh for that it's ta it's real it's it take a re that's real bro it's the sad truth of things you think people just adults you at disney and things look beautiful and you at Kroger's and you see people just doing anything, bro. I'm telling you, it's a crazy percentage. If you go by just adults, period, it's a crazy percentage that's into these things. I fuck with his honesty. I knew it. It just took someone that shared his biological makeup to, to speak on it as well. Shout out to Michael Bradley in the Iceman Inheritance book as well. I get it. I see. I see the patterns. I see the I see the history. I see the intricacies. I see the present. If I'm trying to be lenient, show you some give you the benefit of the doubt can project the future just off of the, the past and the present bro i see it for what it is like it's it's the harsh truth it's like how it's a crazy population of people that's into that some of them that's out the closet about it and some of them behind closed doors they indoors about it and it's the same thing with the pedophilia thing and they really got this attraction to kids and that's a thing bro it's a real thing and it's so many, it's so many, you wouldn't believe, bro. And you would like to think your kid's safe at when you're dropping them off at school or practice or boy scouts or girl scouts or what? Like, nah, bro, I'm telling you. Y'all think somebody finna go to hell for eternity. Hell is empty. Or better yet, we are in hell and all the demons is around us and they wear the suits and they got a nice smile. Some of them got a fucked up smile. <laughs> Let's continue, though. Why do you think Celia is wrong? Because what? Because you cannot... <laughs> no, no. Answer, answer, answer. It's a good question. Yeah, answer. I need to make sure you have any... You yeah, let, Tommy, no, no, wait, no, wait, make an answer. Yeah, no. don't, don't bail him out. Make him answer. Why is Celia wrong, Sneeko? Because it's not how a relationship... Because God says it's wrong. That's no. really... That's the reason why... Hold on. Wait, oh, so Sneeko... No, 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 wait. This is wrong. so easy. So then Sneeko. So if God tells you that you can kid... I see what you're doing, Destiny. And Sneeko, you, you spoke too quick. Next time, think. You said God says it's wrong. As much as y'all would like to believe in God as, into that religion, you don't know that to be source word, my guy. You don't. I think we tend to think that we got, that we superior to any other animal or mammal or even a, a fruit fly or whatever, a dolphin. Just know they do what they're designed to do. They connect it to a frequency. They don't know Allah, Akbar, Yahshua, Yahweh, Jesus, Jesus' brother, the disciples. They don't know of any of that. And they're still going to what's ever next. And you're conscious that your vessel embodies. The vessel embodies. <laughs> it isn't of any more significance than this other animal or secret, whatever. It's tribes that's secluded. That's scattered all across the world. The world is way bigger and grander than what they show you it to be. We can just go for now with the Amazon, little tribes that's everywhere. They never heard the word religion ever. They only, it's, it's other languages here that's like, it's not even a thing. 
it's not even on Google for you to search up. Like, I hope you know that it's things like that. And people that walk with two legs, if you feel like it got to be actual people to, and they never heard the word of your, your, your religion, and they're still going to what they're supposed to go afterward, and it will be measured by their deeds and their heart. Y'all yeah, with this religion thing, bro. He said, because God, God didn't say that, bro. That's a book that was handed and tinkered with by so many hands. I ain't trusting shit that did that to the indigenous and aboriginal. You did that to my people. You created Judas cradles, brazen bulls. You put the baby fresh out of the mother's womb, stepped on the head, crocodile bait. You boiled people. You flayed them. You ate them. And then you give us this book, and then you give us English and take away our native tongue. Take it a step further. We had spiritual like technology of communication, being how dolphins really communicate, telepathy, all kind of things like information that's suppressed and everything that ceased in the Vatican, etc. Like. My ancestors alone, they're in the back of my head. They tell me, I've been new to this. And science can prove it to you now for the ones that need the logistics and proof. Because it's always a group of people out there that need the proof. I don't blame you. I understand it. But um, the past, present, and future is all happen simultaneously. That's why the past is relevant what happened to my ancestors. And they still want they get back. And I'm worse than them. And in, in the sense that they probably believe an eye for an eye. I don't. I believe in the eye for both of your eyes if you did it on purpose. You want to know why? You believe... That a ass is for an eye. It's what I price it. I'm the person. I'm the entity. So it's what I price it. If you, because I don't want to be walking around here with a fucking eye patch on. So I will price my, okay? If you, I told you don't touch me. I'm doing my thing. I'm Denzel from the book of Eli. I'm, a, I'm doing my thing. Don't, and then you hit me with a slingshot and knock my owl. And then I turn around and get rid of you and your kids. That's the price point I put my eye. So I don't believe in the eye for both for, for for I believe in the eye for both of your eyes if you did it on purpose. I get that. So when they screams and cries and pain and get back still ripple throughout the universe, energy can't be created nor destroyed. I'm operating on chaos energy. Yes, it is a point in time I do want to deliver just justice. Not from your judicial system, your, your fucked up laws that's made by Neanderthals. But um yeah, Sneeko, that isn't God's word. That was that was that was that was goofy to just jump out and say that quick like that's the answer. Like that's it's not it don't hold no weight to say that. Hold on guys. Okay, I'm back. Here we go. It's like he did with uh, Muhammad or whatever. You think that's okay then? That you would change your mind on that tomorrow. That's not what happened. No no no, I'm asking you, if God tells you, Sneeko, I think that kids is okay, then you would change your mind on it tomorrow. There has to be a justification for everything. Oh, hold like on. God has God to justify himself? God has yeah. to justify it? If you're talking about the need for a justification, then that means something's not good because God says it. It's only good because he's giving you whatever the justification is. So God saying things doesn't mean anything then. So you're just wrong on that. So then what's the justification then for why he is bad? Destiny got a point. That's why I wasn't smart for Sneeko to jump out the window and just say, how do you know what God said? This book was passed down from so many hands. That isn't, bro, look at history of what they did. You, Me, personally, I know what happened. I know what happened to everybody's people. But I know what happened to mine. It's a lot I don't know as well. And what I know is an ocean of shit. Like, it's crazy. So imagine the, the other parts I don't know as well. Like, that in itself, I will never, tr never trust nothing that come from underneath that umbrella. Of them passing Bibles through generations. No. Don't need that. I have common sense. A lot of people ain't got common sense. That ain't common to the common man. A lot of people walking around with no internal dialogue. They NPC, GTA, pedestrian, beta cuck, simp, and seals. YouTube, this is for entertainment purposes only. I help make episodes for South Park and Caillou. Because it's not, a kids cannot consent. There you go. Good, good job. Yep, you got there. Good job. So and homosexuality. Also, no, really good, don't good job me. It goes down to what, what we see from God. <laughs> it's no, it doesn't. Genders. No, because you don't see God. Because, so it doesn't matter. There's okay. No there's no purpose. There's no purpose for a man. to Listen, that Cinco, if you need a book to tell you not to kids, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. But most people can figure out why it's wrong on their own. And you got to the I answer in maybe, the end, which is good, maybe you need which that is book. good, which is good, which is the good. Fact that you okay. answered that question. Maybe you need that. Book. No, because you compared. You compared homosexuality to... No, like no, why? Wait, wait, no, wait, wait, no, wait, no, so wait. Yeah, to me, common sense tell me that. To common sense tell me that, um... 
and when a person should be able to have sex or whatever, I would say your body gives you these indications. So when you got the, yeah, what is it? Yeah, what's the word for it? I'm, I can't think of it. You know what I'm talking about when you 15, when you 16 ish, and then that kick in your body till you start to grow and I can't even think of it. But it's more factors to it's more factors to it than that, because nowadays isn't females having periods at 13 and shit due to what they consuming by design of course the consumption and this fda approved poison that they stamp as food the standardized american diet so it's like they they feeling that earlier on like it's crazy growing up faster looking older and more stressed out than a millennial bro so yeah that's what let me know what you think i still what is the word what the f i can't think of it Let's continue until it comes to me. And no, make an answer to this question. No, no. Hold on. Why is it then that homosexuality, which can be practiced between... Oh, yeah. Puberty. So that'll tell you, your body tell you pretty much when it's... But it's like, isn't that rushed nowadays? Like, they feel those feelings earlier on now? By design, again, must I reiterate? So... It's a lot of things. Like, I feel like... It's certain decisions you shouldn't be able again like with the brain isn't fully developed into the age of 25 that in itself like a lot of things need to be changed due to biology and common sense but it's not common even down to what people ingesting so a lot of people is chemically imbalanced and they not in their right mind i couldn't even think of the word i was looking for <laughs> this Let's continue. This is crazy, bro. Two consenting adults. Why should that be a bad thing? It's not a bad thing. It's just not right. There's no purpose that it's serving. What the, are you doing that The for? purpose it's serving is two people that love each other might want to be in a relationship and build a relationship and build a household and do that together. That might be something they want to do. It doesn't serve a greater purpose. Every single thing in your life has to serve a greater purpose? Exactly. Oh. No. Exactly. It, it was a question. It was a question. It was a question. You didn't answer it. It was a question. Yeah, he asked you a question. Well, he said, yeah, he did, I guess everything in your I life said, has I to said, serve. I right? said everything has yeah, to serve a greater purpose. They know more, they improve. I just adapt and add new parts of the machine that are a stronger machine. It's what I do. It's what I think people should try to do. So your be, morality but, could be different tomorrow than it is today? Absolutely, 100%. Really? There are things that we don't know yet about, about the human cognition, psychology, just uh, social behaviors. We just don't know some things and we have to adapt that's true things can change tomorrow things can change an hour from now shit i should know it's things i've said or it may have been things i've did just at 24 that I, I don't fuck with it's not me it's like and someone else that's displaying them actions tendency propensities and moving like that not saying i was doing anything crazy but it, whatever it is like it's certain things that i'm looking like a different light bulb cut on when you hit 25 so it's like i things do change so and you can, when we receiving different information and new things coming about every day and evolving. Like our our biology literally evolved. I don't know about everybody else's on the planet. Ours really evolved. That neural melanin, that thing constantly upgrades and evolve. So yeah, it's gonna be new things that come out. Yeah. Your perspective and all that can change tomorrow. So yeah, XQC, you right. You right about that. Your pers yeah. The new information. Also, in literally, I mean, even also, even even religions literally do this. Okay, like even religions update their standards for how they exist That's and how they um, are, are spread amongst their people and how their nations are ran over time. Like Islam's done this, Christianity's done this. No, Islam has not done that. That's not true. And Christianity has been adapted, but that's besides the point. What do you mean Islam hasn't done this? You don't think that Islam or Islamic states haven't changed the way, for instance, that they approach like Dimi, like the way that they have like other religious groups that live in their countries? Like there are yeah, tons so of you're you're changing morality to politics, and that's not that's, what I'm talking. That's hold on. About. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Shut the fuck up that's not politics at all what do you mean that of course said, that's morality that there should muslim be states you said muslim countries i'm talking about the book i'm the sorry what do you think muslim state means that's not involved in religion what do you think a caliphate is who do you think muhammad was what the fuck are you talking about okay you're 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 shifting the goalposts this is not like, hold on i'm sorry wait wait. i just need to hear you correct. say this do you think that politics and islam are completely dissociated from one another they don't have anything to do with each other 
Right. You saying that it's changing, that's, a, that's sort of an example of politics changing the religion. That's not, that's not to the core. And that's besides the point. How is that besides Actually, the point? I'm sorry. Hold on. I need to hear you say this. Do you think that the political system, Islamic theocracy, you don't think that has anything to do with Islam, the religion? You think those are two okay. totally separate I, things? I, I, genuinely, I don't really care about what you're saying yeah, about Islam. I know, right because now. you have I'm no idea. But okay, if you word. don't have any I'm idea what the f*** you're talking about, why are you roasting him on not knowing where all of his morals come from? You don't even know about the I'm own f***ing religion that you grift on. Like, Jesus, asking, who cares? I'm asking questions to XQC, okay? You're not. So you're trying to grill him because he doesn't have an answer to the ultimate source of morality. And you don't even understand your own source of morality. It's a okay. hearted conversation. I can't even get you one. I got to Destiny, you, you, you cooking him like clams. And again, I never thought Destiny was like a dumbass. And that, no, actually, he's like at least like with verbiage and the fluidity and he move like water with it and how fast he is with his synopsis sparking it's very intelligent like but some of his stances be crazy it's like you standing on a wooden leg with an eye patch on like a fucked up pirate but he cooking your ass sneako for real you talking about god told you that and it's the, the holy grail if you really believe after this life you're going to have an all white cloak on and bow down to a bitch ass nigga all day for eternity kudos to you but if it's that important to you it should be that important to you meaning you ain't just supposed to open this book and that no you supposed to go into the anuma english and the atra hasis and the invaders bhagavad gita myth of adapa mahabharata till my tibetan book of the dead going forth by day book of enoch torah quran code of farami etc papyruses hieroglyphs cylinder scrolls etymology semiotics different languages etymology again talk to the elders go within <laughs> you supposed to do a lot you just open this book or probably three different books and ah this one's for me buddy And well, you know what I know. Well, isn't this planet like 15.5 billion years old? They can't begin to figure out how old my melanin and neuromelanin is. I say that to say when a lot of people think it is irrelevant or prevalent. It is. I got more storage and data in my vessel than you have in yours. And your genealogy being directly connected to your psychological state. To me, that make a lot of sense to why people stand under a lot of things that's common sense. So it's like, if this the holy grail, which it should be like, you want to do what's right in this life and go to your afterlife for eternity. That's in itself is silly as fuck. Silly. <sighs> um, but if that is what you believe in, it's important to you, then you must dive in everything I said and more. Is it 15.5 billion years old? Let's say 2 billion years ago. Whole totally different culture and everything you did and that you're going to do was done already in every way you can possibly do it. It's crazy, bro, to, to put your energy, to put limiters and constraints and restraints on yourself and just put a religious title above your head. And that's it. You stop. You, you reduce yourself to such. Is it because I got more storage in my vessel and I got access to more and I just know things in this innate or... My brain capacity higher? Is it this the movie Lucy? Nah, that's crazy though with these religious folks, cause it's like if you like that and you certain about it, you supposed to have went into everything. And they ain't going to none of it, bro. <sighs> Shout out to Destiny, man. You you might have a destiny after all. It's crazy what your bitch did to you. She got some dick sucking lips. I like her lips a lot. We're gonna put that aside. We're gonna show you some leniency. But I do like how you talk, though. No diddy. Let's continue. Shit, you're just trying to like go for gotchas here, so you can clip it up on your Rumble channel. No, I'm not, I'm not clipping up anything. I'm not streaming right now. I he cooking your ass, Sneeko. And then you started like yapping over him to save him. Right? Nobody's yapping over anybody. Here. I started asking you questions because you compared homosexuality to philia because you didn't know why kids was wrong. I just told you why. Okay. XQC, you stumbled the into word, the answer eventually. Why, Congratulations. Why the word? The word for example, here's an easy question. Listen, okay, so we should we update or not? What he do you cooked your ass, Nico. He cooked you. I'm sorry. He cooked you. I gotta call a spade a spade. He cooked you, bro. You had to say, God said, I wouldn't have dared say it, even if I couldn't think of nothing 
right then and there, which I can. I'm just saying, hypothetically. That's insane. <laughs> what do you think the age of cons should be, Snico? Yeah, I, this is not an important conversation. No, is this super important? You don't think kids are not as an important conversation? What do you think the age of consent should be? If you want to be consistent, you don't think anything updates, just tell us what you think I'm it should be. I'm curious what Sneeko going to say. I think it should be past age or at a developed age, Justin. At a develop what is a developed age? Well, if you had to set a law for it, well, what would you set well, it? Well, what well, would you answer. set it about? I'd say it's a developed age. No, answer the question, you fucking pussy. Holy shit. You're <laughs> so it start like from pure yeah, yeah, puberty when but I can't say that because isn't they having the ramification of purity earlier on due to the hormones and the food and all that? So I would say 16-ish. I knew what I was doing to a degree. And then there's different decisions in life that should be a cap on until you're ready. Like your brain isn't fully developed until the age of 25. Now let's say before 25, let's rewind it back and you were 16 or whatever. A lot of people still eating poison, consuming poison. They chemically imbalance. And that have a direct connect on your, your actions, how you think, how you feel, all that. And other people, their genealogy is direct, directly connected to their psychological state. Another variable, epigenetic trauma. Another variable, being a mirror of this construct that doesn't work. So it, it varies. It can be a whole slew and multitude of things. It could be everything I listed. It can be one of the things I listed, none of the, nonetheless. Let me know what y'all think. Because I hear the stories of they daughter having periods and shit at a crate at a young it's insane. So I don't know where do you move to go at 16. I knew in that realm of things like uh, let me know what you think. Let's continue. You're such a cowardly f stand up for what you believe in. You're actually a <laughs> Muslim, you're actually Islamic or whatever. Then stand up for your beliefs. Every, other, every other Muslim business. scholar online will do this. Do it, stand tall on it. Don't act like a little scene here trying to grow. XQC on, on on modern meta ethics or whatever. If you want to answer basic questions about your worldview, what should the age of consent be? You see how you see how you want to answer the question. You see how he's going to yap and not answer the question. I'm going to ask the I same just, thing when you're I done. Go ahead. The, I just answered the question. I just told. What you. was the age? I just told you at a developed age. Sneeko thinks you should be able to that nine year olds. It. That's what Sneeko thinks, and he won't answer that question honestly. Or he's going to have to give a different answer, in which case he's updated his morality. He's updated his views, and that's really uncomfortable for him. You don't have an answer to any of this, bro. Go back to. Uh, that corner in London where you're getting roasted by year one debaters on fucking Christianity. This is retarded. I don't know what the fuck you're doing in here. This is bad, Sneeko. And this is all I need to see. Not that you can't get any better, but at least in this realm of things, because it's different realms of things. And another realm of thing that you're interested in, you may be elite. But in this realm of things, it's not looking good for him. He's on one HP. Somebody need to come around and collect his reboot card. So he can respawn because they cooked your ass at the hibachi. Okay, so you can leave the call. I wanted to go talk about this. I don't want to leave the call. I like hanging out here. I've talked to a lot of files in the past, so. Okay. Don't do him like that, bro. I don't believe Sneak on one of those. He was walking on eggshells. Nah, say how you feel what you believe. No matter what the populace or consensus may think. Stand on it. He said, hey, the development. Whoops. They getting developed a little too fast nowadays by design again, of course. So, and it's crazy. If I had a son, I say sixteen. He, if I had a daughter, God forbid, <laughs> you waiting until you move out. That's just how it is. So it's different. <laughs> okay, Destiny. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching how Nico was in this terrible debate. I'll see you on the next one, man. Y'all have a good one.